Hello, I'm Tom Seaman. Over the past two years, AFCAC has successfully funded several aircraft fire training facility improvements to enhance firefighter training capabilities and to preserve and protect these valuable training resources. In 2011, we obtained $4.5 million to retrofit 58 Air Force AFTFs with a new three-dimensional running fuel fire simulator. By adding these simulators, we're enhancing training for Air Force firefighters and better preparing them to face challenging scenarios like this. This AFTF improvement contract brings all propane storage tanks up to new NFPA 58 safety requirements, installs engine cowlings on the outboard engine, replaces propane regulators with fixed orifice piping, installs portable safety stops for quick emergency shutdown, and installs air compressors in storage sheds to replace the use of costly nitrogen. We also require the contractors to conduct a thorough inspection of these facilities to assess their condition and identify any discrepancies. This data gave us an idea of how much it would cost to bring all the Air Force training sites back to 100% operational capability. In 2012, A7C provided $1.4 million to fix discrepancies at 17 locations identified during these inspections. All 17 of these have been completed. Last year, our leadership allocated more than $5 million to address the remaining 41 sites and to introduce several AFTF improvements. The first of these was the installation of the new engine debris fire trainer. This scenario simulates a separated engine fire with the engine cowling intact. This will be an excellent handline trainer for all of our crash trucks and a great ultra high pressure training aid for the newly fielded P-34 RIV. The 2011 inspection reports identified that several AFTF sites had damage on the low wing due to heat distortion. By moving the left ground burner from under the wing to the front of the training area and installing the engine debris apparatus, it will save wear and tear on AFTF structures. Another improvement is a new Power Lance trainer at all facilities. These new trainers will be installed in the left rear passenger door of the aircraft mock-ups. They are capable of holding three four-inch thick concrete blocks and one half-inch thick carbon steel plate. The left rear door of the mock-up will be cut in half and the Power Lance trainer will be installed below on the fuselage floor decking. The first Power Lance trainer was installed at Tyndall Air Force Base and tested by the 325th Fire Department. We believe this addition will be a great training aid for all fire departments. By spending just over $11 million for inspections, maintenance, and upgrades, we've effectively extended the life expectancy of these training sites approximately 15 years, potentially saving the Air Force more than $187 million in facility and equipment replacement costs. This will enable firefighters to continue to safely and effectively conduct realistic and challenging aircraft live fire training for a long time to come. Once completed, I can't stress enough the importance of having a good recurrent inspection and maintenance program in place. It is the responsibility of your base civil engineer to maintain these sites under real property and fund for repairs as needed. If you have questions or concerns, please contact us at the number below. I thank you for your time, your attention, and all you do for the Air Force. Stay safe.